Hey guys, it's Michael from Devoted to Vinyl, and in this video, we're going to be talking all about record weights and clamps. Do you need one? And do they really make a difference? Now whether you're brand new to the vinyl scene, or you've been spinning records for a long time, there are tons of ways you can go about upgrading your turntable. You can upgrade your platter, install a new cartridge, change out your cables, and a whole lot more. But one thing you can also do is you can buy a record weight or a record clamp that sits on top of your record while it's spinning on your turntable. But really, what does a record weight or clamp do? What value does it provide? And is it worth spending a little bit extra money to get one? Well, a record weight or clamp can do a few things. For one, it's meant to keep the vinyl record that's spinning on the platter much more firmly in place, and that allows the cartridge to be able to better track the groove, allowing you to be able to hear much more consistent sound. A record weight can also help to dampen the vibrations that otherwise would impact the sound negatively. And lastly, a record weight or clamp is really great if your record happens to have any warps. Putting a record weight or clamp on top of your records can help the stylus better track the groove, which, again, can help improve the sound that comes out of your speakers. But record weights and clamps aren't necessarily cheap. While you can find some for only $25 or $30, some are gonna set you back $50 to $100. The company Clear Audio, for example, sells their vinyl record clamp for $150. $150 for a weight. I recently decided to try out a record weight to see if it was worth the hype. And so now, let's take a deeper dive into the idea of whether a record weight is worth your hard-earned money. I decided to purchase a record weight in order to see if I would notice improved sound when playing my records. There are tons of record weights and clamps to choose from, but I decided to go with a record weight from Sleeve City, which costs between $45 and $50, depending on where you buy it. This record weight is made of one pound of stainless steel, so it feels fairly substantial in the hand. Using the record weight is pretty simple. Once you have a record you'd like to listen to, just place the weight on top of it via the spindle. Some record clamps will allow you to tighten the clamp onto the record and platter. But in the case of this Sleeve City record weight, you just need to place it right onto the spindle. There's no additional tightening involved. But now the question becomes, is there a difference in sound quality now that I have a record weight on top of my record. Well, for me, I actually did notice a difference. While using the record weight, I noticed that there was a bit more depth in the sound, the music was a bit more full and lush, and I noticed also that there was a bit more bass in the lower end. Now, while I did notice an improvement in the sound, the big question is, is a record weight or clamp worth an extra 50 or 100 or $150 out of your wallet? Well, for me, the answer is yes. But I also think it depends on how much disposable income you have, and really, how much you pride yourself on being a detail-oriented audiophile. Now, one thing I feel this record weight is really great for is helping to reduce edge warps. I have a record I purchased a couple years ago that I was able to get on the cheap due to it being very warped. My cartridge tracks the record well, and the sound has always been good to my ears. But I wanted to see if a record weight not only would reduce the warp, but also improve the sound. And it definitely did both. As you can see, with the weight on top of the record, the warp is a bit lessened, although admittedly not totally eliminated. With that said, the hefty record weight did improve the sound coming through the speakers, especially in the lower end of the music. At the end of the day, my thoughts on record weights and clamps are actually kind of a bit of a mixed bag. Now, I definitely believe that weights and clamps work, and they're worth buying if you want to maximize the sound that's coming out of your speakers. But record weights and clamps aren't cheap, and I don't think that your vinyl experience is going to suffer much if you don't buy one. And if you do have the disposable income, but you're still on the fence, I'd recommend that you buy your weight or your clamp from a store with a great return policy, just in case you bring it back home, you throw it on your turntable, and you're disgusted because you cannot hear a difference in the sound quality. 
So that's about it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it to be a little bit helpful. And if you did, I would love it if you could hit the like button down below. I always appreciate it when you guys do that. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Devoted to Vinyl, if you wanna be alerted whenever a new video drops. And before we go, I wanna leave you with this question. Do you think that record weights or clamps are an invaluable part of the vinyl playing experience? Or do you actually think they're overrated? Make sure you leave your comments down below. I can't wait to hear what you have to say. And once again, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. It's amazing how much money we spend in this vinyl hobby. Got us buying weights that sit on records. I'll be damned.